Now, not everyone can say that they have a one true friend that they would do almost anything for. I'm blessed to have four. There's Vera. Now, she is one bad-ass cop. She climbed the ranks to detective in record time. She's not afraid of anyone or anything. I know more about this case than you, Chief, or anybody. Hell, even her superiors can't seem to rein her in. You either rein her ass in or I will. Then there's Chris. See, Chris traded in her badge for a private investigator's license. She found that she was far more comfortable operating just outside the lines of the law. Of course. When have I ever let you down? And I like that. Erica, now, she's not just my oldest and dearest friend, but she's also my law partner. I chose her because the girl is an extraordinary litigator. Angela's husband is a brothel with Kay. She just happens to be a little overly in touch with her sexuality. No, I'm not tied up right now. <laughs> and then there's Sabrina. She's always been the conservative of the group. She gave up her career as a social worker for a handsome husband, two beautiful children, and the proverbial picket fence. Hey, babe. Who am I? I am the self-appointed leader of this merry band of misfits. I am Alexandra Bailey Esquire. And I'm a damn good attorney, too, if I do say so myself. I'm always going for the win, and I command respect from both opponent and client. I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. I'm also not going to let you sit here and waste any more of my time. So you have a decision to make. The check or the processing papers. By the way, you and I are done for today. I have an amazing husband and an amazing staff who know that I'm all about business. Now from the outside looking in, we seem to have it all together. You know what my name means? Hi, are you Mr. Abrafo Rigue? But things aren't always. It means executioner. Who wants to know? As they seem. I saw you. My mama always said that God's favor reigns on the just as well as the unjust.